starting with selfie camera this is portrait video mode i'm using aperture f 3.5 1080p 30 fps this is stabilization these are the colors i'm glad that finally stopped raining so i can carry on with my camera comparison Sadly, Honor 200 Pro does not have portrait video mode on selfie camera. I am using one of the filters. Uh, the resolution goes down to 1080p, 30fps. So it is a bit of shame. And it's great because both devices can record 4K, 30fps. And this is Xiaomi 14T Pro. These are the colors. I mean, it's tricky with the diamond and grain because it's pretty cloudy still. And now time for Honor 200 Pro. This is the quality, this is stabilization. What do you think? Which one is actually better? But I'm gonna take some selfies now. By the way, if you are enjoying this camera comparison and my other reviews, please consider subscribing. 98% of the regular watches are not subscribers, which is a bit of shame. Guys, I reached 32 million views from January. I am hoping to go full time on YouTube so I can make more videos like this. So hit that subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Cheers. But let's check on stabilization. Xiaomi 14T Pro, ultra wide angle, 4K 30 FPS. Switch into the main center. Handheld footage is looking pretty nice and stable, I have to say. This is times two. Wow. Uh, 2.6 optical zoom. Again, that looks pretty nice. Wow. Times five. No, I have to say the stabilization is looking really nice here. And this is Honor 200 Pro stabilization, ultra wide angle. Really happy with that. Switch into the main sensor. I love the dynamic range here as well. This is times three, that optical zoom. No, but it's but let's have a look at the maximum zoom during video recording times 15 Xiaomi 14T Pro. And I have to say that's a pretty impressive zoom. Look at this. Back to ultra wide angle. Me and my parents are just enjoying a little ride around on our e-bikes and the beautiful Stafford Castle. So stick around. And we've got the maximum zoom times 10 on Honor. 200 Pro. I like the quality here, but let's switch back to ultra wide angle and take some pictures now. the quality 
2.6 that optical zoom when you get a little bit closer I like that natural blurry background effect what do you think? and this is the quality on a 200 Pro times 3 4k 60 fps wow that looks really nice bear in mind that Honor has dedicated macro mode this is not available on Xiaomi and I can even go times one but let's take some macro shots now This is the Master Cinema, which is basically portrait video mode, Xiaomi 14T Pro. Please let me know what you think about the quality. And I'm going to switch to Honor now. And this is the portrait video mode on Honor 200. It's great because it's available on Times 1. You can also switch uh, to Times 2, which I'm using now. Let me know what you think about the bokeh effect. Now I switch to Times 3, the optical zoom. Please let me know what you think about this one and I'm going to take some portrait photography shots now. Now we're going to compare the shutter speeds on high resolution. Both devices have 50 megapixel sensors on the main sensor. And also you can see 2.6 on Xiaomi 14T Pro. And now let's have a look at the Honor 200 Pro main sensor. And you've got dedicated telephoto lens times three. And I think Xiaomi is a little bit faster. Selfie camera. This is Xiaomi 14T Pro. This is the quality. I'm recording 4K 30fps. You can see it's really, really dark. Honor 200 Pro, selfie camera, 4K 30fps. You let me know, guys, if you would like to see me doing night shots, video and pictures when it's very, very dark like this, or move back to the my town, little journeys on my bikes. Uh, what do you think? Which one is actually better at night? And we've got Xiaomi 14T Pro, ultra wide angle, 4K, 30fps. This is main sensor. It's really hard to see the difference on the small screen. Times 2. That optical zoom times 2.6. However, here we also have times 5. And now let's go times 15 there's a little bit of struggle with autofocus let me tap here okay the quality isn't good as the Honor 200 Pro in my opinion switching back to ultra wide angle Honor 200 Pro 
I wanted to see the video quality when it's just a little bit darker, okay? Really hot weather conditions, you can see. It will be raining, it's dripping already. Main sensor. Wow, that looks pretty good, I have to say. Let's go. Maximum zoom. And you can easy can read what it says there on the pop. And switching back to Ultra Arango. Guys, these are very difficult weather conditions for the camera comparison. You can see it is raining. I am using video night mode on Xiaomi 14T Pro and I have to say the quality looks very nice. As you can see, there is also night video mode on Honor 200 Pro. I am using main sensor. However, I can also switch to times two, which is a really nice option. And switching back to the main sensor. I need to show you this. Look at the preview of Xiaomi 14T Pro. You can actually see what's in your frame. Uh, but let's have a look at the Honor 200 uh, for comparison. And now we've got Honor 200 Pro. Do you know what I mean? I was really struggling to frame the picture because I just could not see anything. So in terms of preview and night photography, the Xiaomi, that's pretty cool. I don't think there is a clear winner here. Both devices are absolutely amazing value for money. You got brilliant portrait photography. Uh, I absolutely love the video quality. You got 4K 60 FPS, 4K on selfie, and the list goes on and on. It's strange because uh, some people say, you know, how much they love owner and then the other people just opposite saying no the Xiaomi is way way better. I always share those pictures in different Facebook groups and on my uh, community which is always a good thing. You Let me know which one do you prefer and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers!